Hello artists! Today in art we're going to be learning about what a pattern is and how we can make patterns that repeat. This is an example of what we're going to do today. Do you know what these are called? Mittens, you're right. We're going to be working on making some mittens together in just a little bit. We're going to be making mittens today and what we need to do first is have a piece of paper. This is just regular white paper turned sideways or horizontal. And you're gonna need a pencil to start. You will also need some markers and crayons. I'm using a black Sharpie to start, just so you can see what I'm doing, but you don't have to use a Sharpie. First, you're gonna put your hand all the way on this side of the paper, on the left side. And you're gonna put it down here where this part, your wrist, is right at the edge of the paper. So we don't want our hand way up here or way like this. We want it to be down here at the wrist is at the edge of the paper. And then if you have your fingers spread out, you're gonna close them up like this and have your thumb and your fingers all next to each other and closed. Then you're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna start over here and we're gonna trace around, but when we get up to the top, we're gonna make a big curve. When we get by the thumb, we're gonna make a little curve, and then we're gonna go back down to the bottom of the paper. When I move my hand, it looks like this. Now, for this side, the other mitten, I'm gonna have you take your same hand and flip it. Keep your wrist near the edge of the paper like we already did with the other one and then make sure there's enough space in between if you don't have enough space just move it over a little bit keep your fingers together and take your pencil and go slow and trace and then up here you're going to make a nice big curve and then here you're going to go over your thumb and back down just like that so you have two mittens then what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line that goes across the top like this, and on the other side too, around the same spot. So they're right about the same spot. Like if I drew a pretend line here with my finger, it almost lines up, okay? Then I'm gonna go down a little ways, and I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna pick my pencil up, or I have a marker, but you pick your pencil up and go over here. And we're gonna go one more time. Go down a little bit. Pick your pencil up. And go like that. Okay. So our two mittens are going to match each other. That means that we're gonna have the same design on this side as we do on this side. The same colors that are here would be here. We're going to try to make them look alike. And we're going to try to create a little pattern. So let's think about a shape that we could use. Pick, think of one shape, it could be anything. Maybe it's triangles, maybe it's circles, um, maybe it's squares. It's up to you. We're gonna practice drawing one of those shapes in the top area over here. Now I'm gonna practice a circle. And then I'm gonna practice another circle over here. All right. And then I'm gonna practice a different design here. And I'm gonna teach you how to draw a snowflake. There's lots of ways to draw a snowflake, but I'm gonna teach you this way by having you start by drawing an X and then put a line through it. And then we're gonna draw another X and put a line through it. And another X and put a line through it. Now, how many snowflakes do we have? Can you count with me? One, two, 
three. So we need three on this side. So I'm gonna start one over here. One, two, three. All right, what shape did we start with? I started with a circle. You might have started with something different. Let's, whatever shape you used up here, we're gonna put down here. So I'm gonna draw another circle. And over here, I'm gonna draw another circle. And then we're gonna repeat this. So we have a circle, snowflakes, circle, snowflakes. So we're gonna draw X's. Oops. With a line through them. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. Okay, now I think having just one circle looks a little bit lonely here. So what I'm gonna do is practice putting a smaller circle on either side. So right now, whatever shape you have at the top, go back and put a little small one on each side of the big one. And then you're gonna practice that at the top on both sides and at the bottom, like this. All right, now I did say we're gonna be coloring them in. You can use marker or you can use crayon. Whatever you have will work fine. And we want both sides to match. So let's see, let's say if I start with purple, I'm gonna color in my, whoops, my big circle with this pretty purple. Now, if I want the other side to match, what do I need to do? Yeah, you're right, I need to color in this big purple, or this big circle purple, right? Okay. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and color these big ones purple too. Now you don't have to use purple to start. You could choose any color. I just happened to pick it because it was one of the first colors I saw and it's a color that I really like for this project. Now, let's see. I think I'm gonna pick a blue and maybe a couple greens and another blue and maybe another purple for now. So I'm gonna go back up here and I have two small circles, don't I? I'm gonna take a different color and I'm gonna color those small circles in. And I want this side to match. So I have to do the same thing. You're right. And I'm gonna keep going, even with the bottom ones. And while I'm doing this, I'm already thinking about what color I want to make the space around those circles. And I like this green a lot. I think that could be pretty. I also really like this blue. It's kind of a teal blue. It's called blue green. And I think that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to color in neatly all the way around. And I'm going to color this space too. And I'm going right up to the edges of my shapes like that. Whoop. So a pattern is something that repeats itself. Like you might have learned about patterns with your teacher. Um, they might have taught you about how you could have a pattern that goes A, B, A, B, or maybe even circle square, circle square. Our pattern is gonna be circles, snowflakes, circles, snowflakes. But we're also repeating the kinds of shapes that we're using. Lots of artists use 
repetition or repeating or patterns in their artwork. I'm going to keep working on coloring these in. Ooh. And I think while I have the same color in my hand, whoops, I'll go back and fill in those spaces. Um, while I have the same color in my hand, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to kind of trace right over my pencil lines. Um, I, I know I used a marker, but you have pencil lines. So go ahead and do that. even going down here to the bottom on this one. And I'm going to go over here on this one. So that all my snowflakes are going to be the same color. And it doesn't have to be teal like this or blue green. You choose whatever color you want to use. And then I'm going to go back. Remember, I want to have these two look the same and these two look the same. So I'm going to go and color in this area. try to fill in my little spaces, the little white spaces when I'm coloring. It just makes everything look a lot neater. Oops. Okay. And then the last thing would be is to pick out a color that I want to color in the spaces that have the snowflakes. And I could use any of these colors. I have green and purple. I have other colors in my box, but I think I might go with purple since it kind of already matches the colors that I've been using. Do you have a favorite color? What's your favorite color? That's a pretty color. My favorite color is royal blue, which is this kind of a blue. But I also really, really like red. But I I am a big fan of the rainbow. I love all the colors in the rainbow. I love black, I love white, I love brown. So many beautiful colors in the world, aren't there? So keep working on your drawing. I'm going to keep coloring this. I'm going to do this side.
Have you already been wearing your mittens or your gloves? I know I got kind of chilly the last couple days, didn't it? Sure did. I even pulled out my winter coat. Okay, now I have two parts left at the bottom. Keep going. You wanna get all of your spaces filled in. And don't worry if you are still working on one of the other parts in your picture and you're not quite as far along, don't worry about it. You can always pause the video or you can just let it play while I'm coloring and you can keep coloring. It's up to you, but don't worry about it. You don't have to be coloring it in at the same speed as I am. And we have one little spot left. You can always look back at it and if you see little spots where you missed you can go back and kind of fill them in and we're all done all right artists you should be done with your project or you'll be done pretty soon you should have everything colored in from the top space of your mitten to the second space to the third and the fourth I hope you had fun learning all about patterns today. See you next time.